Good afternoon, YouTube. This is another edition of Right at Ralph, and this is going to be the first of my seven-part series of the Resident Evil novelizations written by S.D. Perry. And today, I'm going to start off with Resident Evil Zero Hour. Now, Resident Evil Zero Hour is a, a prequel, more or less, to the the original uh, Resident Evil um, game, and it tells the story of Bravo Team, mainly from the uh, point of view of Rebecca Chambers, who's um, the newest recruit on Bravo Team. And the story is this. Um, this: It takes place in Raccoon City, and recently there's been a lot of cannibalistic murders happening on the outskirts of the city in the woods, and Bravo Team is sent in to investigate. Now, when they do do this, when they go to investigate, the helicopter that they in ends up malfunctioning and goes down, so they're forced to land. And as they're searching the, for the surrounding forest, they end up finding this. Uh, Rebecca ends up finding this train. Uh, well, at first they end up come across this wreck, this car wreck, and they end up finding out that there's a. Uh, it was a prisoner being transported by the name of Pilly Cone. Billy Coin, and he ends up escaping. So they're actually they're looking around for clues as to him. And when Rebecca ends up stumbling upon this train, and what she doesn't know is Billy is also on that train too. And the moment they uh, she ends up getting on the train, just all hell breaks loose. She ends up meeting, she ends up encountering zombies. Then she encounters Billy, who really isn't a really isn't a bad guy at all. And she ends up meeting these, uh, you know, end up fighting these dogs, these uh, mutated dogs. And from there on, the story just goes on to the Resident Evil, the Resident Evil thing. Now, it uh, they end up going to this facility owned by this highly multi-billion dollar corporation known as the Umbrella Corporation. And Umbrella Corporation is to in everything. They own a lot. They got very far reach. They got really they got really vast resources. They have a lot of connections. And as these two I going through all these trials with fighting zombies and all of these uh, BOWs and mutated creatures and stuff, they actually stumble they actually, you know, coming together, figuring out what's Court Umbrella Corporation has been doing. Now, I like the story. I thought it was very revealing. There's so much in it. There's so much, so many things in it that allows you to actually get into uh, more detail. Allows uh, readers to get into more knowledge about the Umbrella Corporation and the steps that they were taking in their development uh, and. And how they run things, and uh, that'll be a, a lot of plus for uh, people that like the Resident Evil series. Um, I really did like Rebecca's character. It was also somewhat of a character development for her too. I like Billy's character too. I thought he was he was real cool. They were both relatable. I really liked the characters. The villain, the villain. Well, I don't really know his name. I can't remember his name. But I, I, I thought the villain was all right. He, uh, he was kind of like one of those mega, those like sociopath type guys. So it wasn't really. He underst I understood why he was doing what he was doing, but I really couldn't sympathize with him because of how he, he how he was how he did it. But the story had a really nice pace to it. It was like. It was just something around every corner. You actually was rooting for the characters. You connected with the characters. They had some really good dialogue and chemistry between the two. And I think that this uh, Resident Evil Zero Hour is a really good read and introduction into the Resident Evil series. We, say, we should say genre. Yeah, the Resident Evil genre. But I was really impressed with it. SD Perry has done a really good job you know, with the narration and getting into the characters' heads and allowing readers to sit there and to, you know, mismatch. And I like how it ended with, the, I like the ending because the ending, it, it, you know, of course, you know, it's a prequel, so it's going to kind of, it's going to uh, open up to the next, uh, to the Resident Evil book, game, whatever you want to say. But I did like the ending. And I thought, uh, I yeah, I was really rooting for the characters. I cared about the characters. Um, yeah, that's not that's 
That's all I say for any of those that want to get into the Resident Evil who are fans. I highly recommend this book. It's a really good read. Well, to the next edition of Write It Ralph. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. almost forgot. <laughs> P.S. If y'all have read this book or have played the game, feel free to let me know what y'all think about the story and the characters, the gameplay in the comment section below. Now, to the next edition of Write It Ralph. Keep it reading.